We want to check in with Holden Kowicki, who is in Wilmington, giving us the very latest updates. And the last time we saw you, Holden, you weren't having a good time out there. How has the weather changed? Oh. <laughs> uh, if I had one word for all of this, uh, my video, video journalist George Umbenhauer and I were just discussing this. It would be gnarly. Uh, we keep seeing, I mean, just look at this behind us. I'm going to step out a little bit. Just, it's, it's raining so hard. It's, it, it's blowing extremely hard out here now. And we keep seeing like these flashes of blue light. You kind of high in the sky. We, we, we can't tell if that's lightning or if that's like transformers blowing in other parts of town. Uh, just actually maybe 30 seconds before you took us live here, the, all the power around here went out and it was pitch black. I mean, there were no lights anywhere in sight on other than our battery powered lights that we have here, you know, to light this live shot. And it is really, really coming down now. And every once in a while, you will hear a roar. And that's the only way I can really describe it. And it's the wind and the rain and the combination of the two really just blowing in here. And it kind of gives you a little bit of time to brace yourself. We, we do have an, a little bit of an overhang here. That way we can keep some of our equ equipment dry. But it really, like, it gives you a, a second to kind of brace yourself. But it, it is a little scary out here. I, I do have to admit, uh, we're here at the uh, New Hanover County Emergency Operations Center. They do have the doors locked, but some of the employees are actually stepping out every once in a while and kind of checking on some things. I talked to one woman as she came out earlier, and she was saying she actually isn't supposed to, to work until Saturday, but they said, why don't you go ahead and come in now because this storm behind us is getting pretty nasty. They don't know if you're going to be able to make it in. Live in Wilmington, Holding Kerwicki, CBS 17 News.